Hey guys, Jocelyn here with Fantasia Elegance. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make three different styles of fancy decorative hook clasps and their matching loop ends. And these are a really great way to add some fancy flair to your wire wrapped pendants and bracelets. So to make all of these styles we'll just be using some 20 gauge wire and I'll be using sterling silver from Rio Grande. You can use any kind of wire you like as long as it is 20 gauge round dead soft. Alright, so let's make the one with these little decorative loops next. Here's what they look like separated. So again, pull out your 20 gauge round dead soft wire. And if you want to use half hard for these designs, that would make them even more durable. I just find dead soft is a little bit easier to work with for beginners. So with our 20 gauge round dead soft wire, we're going to cut a 4 inch piece for the hook portion. And that is about 10.2 centimeters. And then for the loop portion, we're just going to cut a three and a half inch piece. Or nine centimeters. So as before, we'll make the hook first. So take your longer wire. And we're going to start out just the same way as the other one. We'll start by forming a little loop on the end. And that will be the portion of your hook that goes into your loop clasp. And as before we'll just curve this on around. But for this one we want to put some little swirls along the side. As you can see there. So to do that, we're going to use our round nose pliers. And we're just going to take this wire and loop it all the way around. If I can get a good grip, there we go. So there's one. And we're going to do that three times to have a little row of three loops. And you want to just make sure that you're keeping them the same shape and size. That will make this look much more tidy. And we'll put our last one in here. And you want your last little loop to fall right where this ending hook portion ends. So I'm going to bring it on down to get that achieved. You might need to make your loops a little bit smaller. So that's the general shape you want. And then we're going to use this wire at the bottom to make once again a wrapped loop. So I'm going to take it off going straight like that. and put in a little loop at the bottom. And I actually want this to be more of a teardrop shape, so I'll lengthen that a little. And finally we will just wrap this tail once again around the base portion. And I find this easiest with two pairs of chain nose pliers. And I like to give it a good three or four wraps around the bottom there. And of course snipping off our excess and tightening down that little loose end. That's what we have for this one. And then I like to hammer this out as well, just to hammer this little loop on the swooped portion there. I find that gives it more strength so that it doesn't bend open while you're wearing your necklace or bracelet. And then 
then finally I like to very gently tap over these swirls that we've made just to kind of flatten them out and seal everything together but you do want to be gentle so that you don't uh, deform them. So that's what we have for the hook and go ahead and take out your three and a half inch piece of wire and we'll make the matching loop and for this one you want to go in about an inch and a half and just mark that with your finger and that's where we're going to put our first bend in again using the largest area on your round nose pliers and we're going to start putting in once again a teardrop shape and making sure it's roughly the same shape and size so that everything matches that looks pretty good now for this one we're going to put these swirls on this longer sided tail and we're just going to do two swirls so gripping it about halfway right there from the top to the bottom of the teardrop portion we're going to put in a loop and you might need to refine that a little bit with your chain nose pliers and we're going to put a second smaller loop below that one so that's the look we have now and then as before we're going to finish off with wrapping this tail around the base portion and then we will make a second loop down here with this tail just like with the other one I do like to hammer this one out as well just this portion here hammer that more heavily and then very gently go over these swirls just like with the hook, hook portion that we did and I'm just going to refine these uh, loops a teeny bit before I do that so that I'm happy with them before I kind of seal it in by hammering it So that is our second style of hook and loop clasp.